Now, live, this is 8 News Now at 6. Well, thank you for joining us for this very special edition of 8 News Now at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Dave Corvassier. And it is special because after 27 years on the air here in Las Vegas, you are watching Dave's final newscast <laughs> right here on Channel 8. Well, it is great to share it with you, Christiane, and with all the wonderful Channel 8 viewers who've been so supportive all these years. Yeah, we had a luncheon today at Maggiano's Little Italy Inside Fashion Show Mall. The room was packed with friends, both current and former co-workers, as well as city and county leaders, and they were all there to send Dave off, including familiar faces like Paula Francis and Gary Waddell, and Dave even received proclamations from the city and the state. How about that? And we will talk more about Dave's career here in Las Vegas throughout the next hour. But first, let's check in on your weekend forecast. We got Ashley Conroy in for Ted. Ashley. Hey, Dave. Christian, well, beautiful night out. Well, still ahead on the Valley's News Leader, the tributes continue for Dave on his last day here on the Anchor Desk. We'll stroll down memory lane with some of the memorable moments from Dave's time delivering the news here in Las Vegas. And we hear from viewers who have their own well wishes, like Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman. Broadcast journalist, actor, friend to the world, icon in the city of Las Vegas, wonderful human being. Dave, we've grown old watching you stay so young, and it's too early to retire, but if you have to, we thank you for all your wonderful years, everything that you've been to our community, to Boys Town, and to all of us. We wish you only the best and hope that you will enjoy free time, maybe, with Victoria and your daughters. But happy retirement, and again, thank you so much from the city of Las Vegas and from me. You're watching 8 News Now at 6. Hundreds of 8 News Now viewers have left comments on Facebook and Twitter with well wishes for Dave on his last day. Artie writes, Dave, I met you 30 plus years ago. You've been a great newscaster and a gentleman and one who truly cares for the Vegas community. We will miss you. Best of luck. Madison says, Dave, thank you for all of your work for kids in foster care. Your good work does not go unnoticed. Here, here. Denise writes, we will miss you so very much, Dave. You're a great newscaster, among the best in my opinion, but more importantly, a great man. You radiate kindness, warmth, and goodness, and Pat and I wish you all the best. Be sure to use the hashtag Celebrating Dave when you post your comments on Facebook and Twitter. Well, if I would have known there was all that love out there, maybe I wouldn't have left. I, no, that's so kind of everyone. It's just been um, overwhelming, really. It's been lovely. Just great. Thank you so much. Well, speaking of Denise, it wasn't the Denise that left that Facebook <laughs> no, comment. I was looking at that. I was like, okay. Well, uh, which we'll Denise is that? <laughs> when I first saw that, I went, well, Denise, that was so nice of you to yeah. do that on Facebook. I've been busy doing She's other things, too. She's been plenty busy, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, many of you know Dave as, you know, the newsman who mm -hmm. has been uh, coming into your living rooms for more than 25 years. So we wanted to show you another <laughs> side of Dave. Uh, when I talked with him earlier this week, he admitted that he really has watched our industry evolve, and he's seen a lot come and go over the years. The yeah. business has changed so much since you started. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not to tell old stories like, you know, hey, well, I remember when. <laughs> but uh, I, I distinctly re do remember when I was uh, a beat reporter uh, at a station in the Midwest when Char well, Walter Cronkite retired. Oh, yeah. And I was out on the street. What do you think about Walter's, you know, retiring? Uh, so, you know, it goes back that far. And, of course, after that was Dan Rather. And uh, you see the march of time in the media. You know, you see how it changed. Well, you were the first person to introduce me to Twitter. <laughs> and I'm, oh, Dave, that's 140 <laughs> characters. That's never going to catch on. <laughs> and you, you're always been sort of an early adopter with that kind of stuff. I like the trends, and I'm, I'm, I'm a geek, and I like uh, the newest thing, the latest thing to come out. I'm usually there trying it, at least. Yeah. Um, you think you're going to miss that sort of pace of the newsroom? I'm going to miss that energy, yeah. especially now that I'm an older guy, uh, working with younger people. That really keeps you uh, on top of the latest trends and what's going on and uh, what does YOLO mean and you know those kind of I hear I hear it from them and and it keeps me yeah it keeps me energized I'm gonna miss that. He's been keeping busy. It's taken him like probably a month to clear out his desk, just like <laughs> box after box over the past month. We are really going to miss you. Uh, instead of the five uh, days of Christmas, we have been doing the five Daves 
of Christmas. So if you missed it, uh, let's start out with number five. We started, this is kind of like the Norman Rockwell photo. This is Dave <laughs> as a baby. I swear this looks like a stock photo you'd find on Google. Uh, the four days of Christmas, he grew up and joined a high school band where he played guitar, mean guitar, I hear. Uh, then his wife snuck us this photo when he started sporting the mustache that everyone just adores and then riding his motorcycle. And then in this next photo, we swear he is just channeling his best magnum PI. He tells us this is the water of San Francisco, but it looks like he's on his way to Cuba. And then we've got our final Daves of Christmas. And what more fitting picture than with Dave surrounded by the four ladies in his life, his wife and his three gorgeous daughters, mm -hmm. as we wrap up our five Daves of Christmas. And we'll get a better look at those daughters and wife here, because they're in the studio tonight. So they yeah. That was taken last Christmas, and I am blessed in many ways by all the women in my life. Yes, well, uh, and here again. Right, here we are. Yeah, here we are. And, you to, and you and Denise yes. and Christiana as well. Standing in for yes. Ted, so it yeah, works out perfect. It's great to have you here today, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, on your last day. Mm -hmm. How about that? I just can't believe and it. you wore and, red. That's great. And I wore red, right? <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas and for Dave. Yeah, but I grew up watching you uh, in the Valley, and so it's just, it's incredible. You're one of the inspirations and reasons that I got into the business. Wow. So it's really cool to work Thank alongside you, you and Thank be you here on your last day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's take a look, a uh, live look outside right now. This is all right, thank you very much, John. Always uh, a lot of fun there. Hey, since this is Dave Carbassier's last show, we reached out to the governor, and guess what? He called a special session in honor of the broadcasting legend. The governor lives in Carson, but watches Dave on Channel 8 all the time. They become TV brothers. You've always been there for me, and I thank you for that. Dave leaving the comfort of the newsroom and venturing off on new paths. The governor leaves this advice. It's ambitious, yes. We've never shied away from making the bold choices. Bold and brave, this new adventure you're taking. I congratulate you on your selected role in history. For you and I, will shape future generations. Who knows what lies behind Dave's next door, maybe something beyond your wildest dreams. It could happen, and I hope it does. <laughs> oh, we hope it does. Look at the standing <laughs> ovation. The standing <laughs> ovation. How about that? That's very nice of the governor. And you. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. That's Thank funny. You, Chris. All right. Still a lot more news ahead at 6.30. <laughs> the deadline tonight to secure health care coverage under the Affordable Care Act. What you need to know if you waited until the last minute to enroll. Uh, but first, keep oh, your I messages for Dave coming on his last day here at Channel 8. Rudell writes, man, he feels like family. Been watching Channel 8 since I moved here in 92. Gonna miss seeing you on TV. Take care, Dave. Enjoy your retirement. Karen says, Dave, you will be missed. Channel 8 News is the best there is. And Peggy writes, wishing you a long and wonderful retirement. We've been watching you for the past 21 years, and you've become a part of my family. Use the hashtag Celebrate Dave when you're posting your well wishes on our 8 News Now Facebook page and Twitter. Too few to mention. Everyone happy and keep all Republicans in the yes column for the big vote. But first, everyone is saying goodbye to Dave on his last day, including Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto. Hello, KLAS CBS News team. I am here with a message for Dave Cavassier on his last day at Channel 8. Dave, you're an icon. For over 30 years, you've been the voice Las Vegans have heard every night when they turn on the news. For so many of us who have relied on you as a source of thoughtful, credible reporting, this is the end of an era. Thank you for your decades of service to our community. I hope you have a wonderful time today at your farewell party, and I wish you and your family all the best as you embark on this next chapter. Tie-breaking vote in the Senate. And as we go to break, we want to take a look at some of the messages left for Dave on his last day here at Channel 8. Robert writes, Dave, you're a class act that will be missed lots. More reporters need to be like you. Good luck with your retirement. Jimmy says he lived in Vegas and always liked Dave. Have a very happy retirement. And Missy writes, I will miss seeing you in my living room. I really enjoyed everything you have done to bring attention to foster children and adoption. You rock, Dave. I wish you all the best going forward. Thanks for the memories. Be sure to use the hashtag CelebrateDave when you tweet or message him. Dave has been reading hundreds of the comments viewers have been leaving for him. Kwanta Wright's going to miss Dave. Been watching you with my grandparents since I was a young girl. Mavis writes, wow, you will surely be missed. I missed you the first time you left and will again. Wishing a wonderful retirement. You've certainly earned it. 
And Sandy writes, it's great to see Paula and Gary at the luncheon that was earlier today. Dave, you will be missed. Another great anchor rides off into the sunset. Enjoy your retirement. Again, you can leave your messages on Facebook and Twitter and be sure to use that hashtag, Celebrate Dave. How nice is all this? I'm <laughs> truly blessed by all the comments. Thank you so much, everybody who's reached out to say something. It means a lot. It means you a lot to me. made a huge difference and in this community. Really, you, you know, you like to think you do, but then when you hear so many people comment like that, you kind of start to believe in it, you know? <laughs> but Impacted Ashley, a lot I, of people. I didn't realize I was an inspiration to you when you were yeah. a uh, youngster. Yeah, I watched the news with my grandparents, like the girl mm -hmm. in the story, and uh, uh, I'd watch you and Sue on our competitors down the street, right, and so, right. yeah. Yep. Which doesn't need and to be named. No. No, but we're, <laughs> we'll uh, we're, down the we're glad you're That's here good. In, instead of Ted today. Ted <laughs> right. said our goodbyes yesterday, and Aww. that was nice. But uh, yeah. glad and to And I'm sure here. Ted will be bugging you every day, right? Oh, you know it. He's going to be calling you every day. Dave, yes. what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> well, beautiful night here in the Valley for Dave's retirement. We actually have nice fair weather tonight. By Tuesday and Wednesday, going to be breezy again. And then we're going to drop, you can see from Wednesday to Thursday, 15 degrees. It's just Mother Nature can't make yep, up its here mind. Here comes the wind again. <laughs> All right. Roll Thanks, Ashley. Here. Thanks. Well, still ahead on the Valley's News Leader, we are in the last few minutes of Dave Cavassi's final newscast here on Channel 8. And the iTeam's George Knapp joins us with a look at Dave's storied career here at Channel 8 and in the Las Vegas Valley. You're watching 8 News Now at 6.30. All night long, yep. we've been sharing your well wishes for Dave. Down the rights, enjoy your retirement. May you have many enjoyable years. Best Terry yet. echoes that. Have a great Come retirement. You are very reliable and truthful. Have a great life. And Joanne writes, I'll miss you. I've watched you for 20 years or more. Thank you for Wednesday's Child. And I hope it continues with someone as passionate as you. Take care. Add your notes for Dave. He's still going to be here to read them. Just go to our 8 News Now Facebook page. And of course, it is not a true Channel 8 goodbye until the I-Team has their say. Yeah, George is here. It's been an honor to work aside another legend here in the market. You have naively shared a lot of secrets and photographs with the I-Team. And now you got to pay. Made I a big think, mistake, you know. yeah. You know, oh, after, after you work under the same roof for 14 years, you think you know a guy, and then you're asked to put together the story about his life so far that is photographer Matt Adams and I were able to pull the nooks and crannies of Dave's amazing life and career and we're amazed at some of the things we learned that we never knew until now if you lived in southern Illinois in the late 60s chances are you'd remember the young society an omnipresent rock band whose lead guitarist and vocalist exuded a personal vibe we might now think of as early Elvis Costello Dave Cavassier was born in Iowa, but the family moved to Illinois, where he and his siblings learned about the value of hard work in between the chores and chickens on the family farm. Dave played football, dabbled in student theater, then went off to college where he earned a teaching degree and later a master's. Instead of settling down right away, Dave hit the road. He spent two years moving around North America, much of it atop a motorcycle. The jobs he tried didn't suit him. Construction work, insurance salesman, medical equipment. He took a three-month broadcasting course, and that was it. Soon after, he was spinning records as a DJ for a country western station in New Mexico. A similar radio gig in Grand Junction, Colorado, gave him his first taste of television. He hosted the Big Money Movie on the local ABC station, where he earned his TV chops, interviewing guests during commercial breaks and running movie trivia contests tests for viewers. After a while, Dave coaxed a news director into letting him anchor weekend news cut-ins, then did one-man band reporting and never looked back. This evening, a third night of street violence has erupted in the... In cities across Missouri, Indiana, and North Carolina, Dave the newsman's comfortable style and steady hand endeared him to audiences and helped move him inexorably up in the business. Vicky Babu, where is she now? But he wasn't always stuck in the studio. Dave typically was dispatched to the scene of big news events, including national political conventions. The soon-to-be iconic mustache came along for the ride. What the delegates aren't in agreement on are some of the planks in the platform. I, I didn't realize till later on I was really honoring my father, because my father always had a mustache. And I guess I grew up thinking, well, that's, this is what men do men grow mustaches and so I grew it and and they hired me that way 
Dave landed in Las Vegas in 1985 and helped restore KVBC Channel 3 to news prominence alongside co-anchor and Channel 8 alum Gwen Castaldi and later with Ricky Cheese and other youngsters who became familiar faces in the community. As in previous jobs, Dave spent a lot of time on the road covering political conventions, natural disasters, and not one but two papal visits to the U.S. The battle between state gaming officials... Although he hadn't done any acting since high school, Dave was one of the local broadcasters to land a role in the Scorsese mob drama Casino, playing what else? An anchorman. It was after that role he said goodbye forever to the stash. In 1998, after 13 years and a measure of success on the air, he left Las Vegas to help care for his aging parents, ended up back on the air in the town where he'd first anchored a newscast, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. But five years later, news director Bob Stodall invited Dave to return to Las Vegas, this time at Channel 8, where Cavassier joined an anchor team that already included two Las Vegas TV legends, anchors Gary Waddell and Paula Francis. For local television, that trio under one roof was the equivalent of the 1927 Yankees. In addition to anchor duties, Dave again was assigned to cover big stories, including Hurricane Katrina, the OJ fiasco. There's a party in Las Vegas tonight. And, and the annual New Year's Eve extravaganzas among the best productions in the country. It seems like these nice fall days are just perfect for getting outside with Wednesday's child. Well, but the most identifiable story of his career, one that he's done at every station along the way in one form or another, is Wednesday's child. He didn't need to be assigned those stories. After all of the awards and accolades, his work with organizations like Big Brother, Big Sister, Boys Town, and others in mentoring kids without parents or role models, helping many to find loving homes, more than 1,700 of them over three decades, easily ranks as the most rewarding part of his career. It was the best use of TV that I could see to ask the viewer to do something to be compelled to have a, make a difference in a child's life and to change the world. How could I say no? <laughs> The decision to step away from TV news after 14 years at Channel 8, 27 years on the air in Las Vegas, 32 years of broadcasting overall was hard but not insurmountable. Dave says he has other things he wants to do, including a voiceover business and non-work-related travel. One suggestion? Maybe dust off that old motorcycle. His former boss, Bob Stodall, told us, quote, Dave's steady hand at the anchor desk will be a hard act to follow. And my wife, kind of the same thing. Uh, you know, she told me the other day, she goes, I don't know where I'm going to get my news now because you've always been my newsman. So I'm going to have to get used to that change as well. Earlier today, I told uh, Dave's wife, Victoria, that uh, we'll call her every night at 6 o'clock yeah. let her know what the news is. I don't know who's going to handle that 11 o'clock duty. And also, Vicki Babu, who was your co-anchor right. a long time ago, she sent a Facebook yep. message today, so she's, she's still, still around. around. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Very cool. We've had pro proclamations today from the city and from the state rolling in to wish farewell on his final day in broadcast journalism. And everyone here at Channel 8 signed this great big thank wow. you card. <laughs> and of course, you got to have a sweet treat in your cake. I am yeah. surrounded by all the people I love here, and it's just been a great day. It's been a great week. What a great career. I'm so blessed. Thank you all for your thoughts and wishes, and it's great to have you all here. Thank you so Thanks to you as well for well being done. such great Well done. We are going to miss you, Dave.